Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel GIST Classes and today we will discuss the gist of diversity in the living world. The living world, how wonderful is the living world and how wonderful the extraordinary habitats in which we found these living organisms. Some habitats like cold mountains, deciduous forests, oceans, freshwater lakes, deserts and hot, hot springs. What are the basis of taxonomy? Characterization, identification, classification and nomenclature. What is systematics? Systematics is the systematic arrangement of an organisms. What is nomenclature? Nomenclature is naming of living organisms such that a particular organism is known by same name all over the world. For this, biologists follow universally accepted principles to provide scientific names to known organisms. For this, we follow binomial nomenclature in which has two components, generic name and specific epithet. Now, what are the nomenclature rules? Biological names are generally in Latin and written in italics. They are Latinized or derived from Latin irrespective of their origin. The first word in a biological name represents the genus, while the second component denotes the specific epithet. Both the words in a biological name and handwritten are separated, underlined or printed in italics to indicate the Latin origin. The first word denoting the genus starts with a capital letter, while the second epithet starts with a small letter. It can be illustrated with the example of Mangifera indica that is mango. Now what is classification? Classification is the process by which or anything is grouped into convenient categories based on some easily observable characters. For example, we easily recognize groups such as plants or animals or dogs, cats or insects. Now what are taxonomic categories? Taxonomic hierarchy is the process of arranging various groups of organisms into successive levels of the biological classification in a sequence either in a decreasing order or in an increasing order from kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. You have to learn this, this sequence. Now there are some examples of organisms with the taxonomic categories of man, housefly, mango and wheat. Now what are taxonomical aids? Taxonomical aids are the samples or collection of samples of preserved organisms that help in the research of taxonomic hierarchy. The examples are herbarium, monograph, museum, zoological park, flora, etc. And now we will begin with examples of these taxonomical aids. The first example is herbarium. Herbarium is a storehouse of collected plant specimens that are dried, pressed and preserved on sheets. Further, these sheets are arranged according to universally accepted system of classification. These specimens along with their description on herbarium sheets become a storehouse or repository for future use. The herbarium sheet also carry a label which contain the information like date, place or collection, the name, botanical name, family name, collector name, etc. Herbarium also serve as quick referral system in taxonomical studies. Now the second example is botanical garden. These spe specialized gardens have collections of living plants for reference. Plant species in these gardens are grown for identification purpose and each plant is labeled indicating its botanical scientific name and its family. The famous botanical gardens are at Kew that is situated in England and Indian Botanical Garden situated in Havra and at National Botanical Research Institute situated in Lucknow. Now the another example is of museum. Museum or biological museums are generally set up in educational institutes as you have seen them in schools and colleges. Museums have collections of preserved plants and animal specimens for study and references. Specimens are preserved in the containers or jar in preservative solutions. Plants and animal specimens may also be preserved as dry specimens. Insects are preserved in insect boxes after collecting, killing and pinning. 
Larger animals like birds and animals are usually stuffed and preserved. Museums often have collections of skeletons of animals too. Another example of is of zoological parks. These are the places where wild animals are kept in protective environments under human care and which enable us to learn about their food habits and behavior. All animals in a zoo are provided as far as possible the conditions similar to their natural habitat and children love them visiting these parks called as zoo. Now, Another thing is key. Key is another taxonomical aid used for identification of plants and animals based on the similarities and dissimilarities. The keys are based on the contrasting characters generally in a pair called couplet. It represents the choice made between two opposite options. This results in acceptance of only one and rejection of the other. Each statement in the key is called a lead. Separate taxonomic keys are required for each taxonomic category such as family, genus and species for identification purpose and keys are generally analytical in nature. So these are some examples of taxonomical aids. Thank you. Hope you like the video.